Hey, this is Monique. Let's do one more project. This time, we're having a cookie party. All right, first thing we have to do is make these cookies. These are almond melt-away cookies. I got this recipe from the Novice Chef. Just love them. They come out so nice every time I have made them. Um, mix all of these different ingredients together. You see them scrolling across the screen to tell you what you need to do. When I mix those dry ingredients, I don't turn that mixer on because that would just turn into a big cloud of, of flour in the kitchen and we don't need that. Be sure and start with your butter at room temperature. Now beat the sugar and the butter together until they're nice and fluffy and all incorporated. Beautiful. Scrape that down a little bit. Now add the egg and some almond oh delicious beat that in there until it's all well incorporated you're not trying to add more air or anything you're just trying to get it all mixed well now you do this part like this add the flour a little bit at a time it doesn't have to be exactly half a cup you don't have to measure that out smooth but don't try to put it all in there at one time Mix all that flour in there until it's all incorporated into your dough. Now we're going to work the dough a little more. I think it comes out just a little bit sticky for sugar cookies, for cutout cookies anyway. They're not sugar really, but for cutout cookies. So I incorporate a little bit more flour into it kind of knead it in there, turn it and roll it until it's not quite so sticky so that you can pull your hand away without having pieces of it stuck to you. So work a little extra flour in there. Um, not too much, you don't want to make it stiff, but you want it to be a little bit firmer. Roll it out till it's about a quarter of an inch. I don't know how to do that very well. I'm just guessing at it. I don't know. I just roll around for a while and feel it and roll it around for a while. And Some of the cookies are a quarter of an inch. Some are maybe a little more. Some at the edges are less. As long as they all bake even, I don't worry about it too much. Alright, here's a good tip for you though. When you cut out your cookies, use a spatula to pick them up. Get a little extra flour there so the spatula doesn't stick and pick them up and move them to your cookie sheet that you have parchment paper on. Move them over there on the spatula and then you don't risk them falling out or making a mess. This one, they're kind of hard to get out. So I tried using this bamboo skewer. Mm, that didn't work as great as I wanted because it left little holes in it. Uh, and when I used my fingers, I had to be careful to not put my fingernail mark down in the dough. So it was a little bit of a learning one. This one was, you know, the first one, the, the first pancake. It didn't come out exactly perfect, but it was okay. But then it got better. So cut out cookies, cut out cookies, cut out cookies. Then knead all of your scraps back together. See, I stick them over there in that nice little scrap pile. Knead all your scraps back together and make some more cookies. And then I even sometimes get a third one, but Usually those just get flattened out and turned into the ones, you know, the samples, the, the ones that we have to test to make sure that they're safe for everybody else to eat. A little flour on your cookie cutter can also be helpful to keep them from sticking inside the cookie cutter so much. Bake them for just five minutes. They will still be very light, but that is how you want them, I promise. Now it's time to make the icing. I like the royal icing, but uh, I have found I do better to use the meringue powder. So that's the recipe we used. Mix all the things together and then have a very heated discussion about is it the right consistency? Because we're never really sure. There are two things to look at. The ribbon that comes off, how long, how much it breaks, and how long it takes the pool in the bottom to flatten back out into the rest of the icing. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is the perfect consistency. I'm all so right. happy. Now put that in the back. Hey, but if she says it's perfect, we're going to go with it. She's very good at being a helper at the party. Look at this. What a fun party. As the mom of three boys, having women together in my house making cookies, what a treat. Anyway, here we're mashing down that with a clothespin to help smoosh all that icing in there. There we've got the green. We made it all white and then we made some green, but we didn't like the green. It wasn't quite... Uh, the green we wanted so we added some blue get the gel food coloring 
you'll be much happier with your results and there are lots of colors out there you can buy the color that you want and not have to mix it together but get the gel I would highly recommend that now look at this the sister-in-law is making these Christmas trees with the squiggle on them this was her first time to do these cookies weren't they beautiful and then over here we got the girl making the snowflakes love this girl these snowflakes though they took a long time she works them very delicately to make them perfect on the edges and I just love that but I don't always have that much patience I want to make them go faster than that but then we did some Christmas trees that were solid some little stockings the cousin and the sister-in-law brought their Mickey cutter and made these beautiful Mickey cutters eventually we worked on them forever but here's our finished cookies we were so proud of them I hope you enjoyed the cookie party as much as I did I thought it was great fun a few tips make your cookies the day before it takes a while to make them it takes a long time to de to decorate them to get all that icing and get the colors and get the consistencies anyway make the cookies the day before it'll make it more fun when you decorate them also uh, if you want to see the recipe it is at the novice chef for the cookies and if you want some more tips on icing try the sugar spun run uh, website that would be very useful to you with her tips and advice and recipes um, a little side note about these cookies my friend Brenda made cookies for her daughter's wedding. Yes, she started making cookies and decided a wedding was a great place to start. Anyway, that was for her oldest daughter's wedding. Her youngest daughter got married and Brenda was not able to make cookies for this wedding. And so we got together and made cookies for the bridal luncheon. Not for the whole wedding. But we made her some cookies that maybe would have um, been something her mom would have liked to do if she would have been able to. Anyway, thanks for joining me this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Now remember, whatever you, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Thanks for watching. See you next time.